Alright, this is another episode of our podcast, and we have a very special guest, or guest, we got Team Side Attack, led by Urban, oh, wait a who's the leader, who's the leader, so, that's me, Urban, yes, sir, yo, Urban, I got a very special question, how did this all, how did you form this team, yo, give me a little backstory, okay, so, when it comes to Side Attack, originally, it was gonna be like a circuit drift team, um, and then we were kinda like, not doing that. <laughs> the group is an airshow team, and side attack was just like a little bit of extra stuff for that. that we were gonna do. And we never got around to it. Um, and when we all started getting into this toge stuff again and got back into the community, I was like, well, we kind of already have a team. Why don't we do use it for something? So, uh, you know, did a little bit of molding and uh, wrote a little bit of lore for it almost. And uh, yeah, transformed it into. Okay, team, and that's kind of the way it is that uh, you know at the moment. It's not got as much of a deep backstory in terms of like activity. Uh, it's not really an old team, uh, but you know, we got some fairly fairly capable drivers, and uh, we're ready to make our name for ourselves. I think. It's respectable, it's respectable. At least I'll have a team because the team I'm on is just complete garbage. Terrible leader. <laughs> Say they're gonna yeah. do something, they end up not doing it. Just, that's why. I don't, that's why I don't like being on teams. It's like I don't want. I don't want some. Per, I don't want somebody feeling like they're above me, and then they don't even do their job. So it's like that's why I'm. I'm a soloist mm. type of racer. So that's why I like being on teams. Just, yeah, yeah, uh, that's fair. Just, <coughs> team, comes what was that person we were talking about? Was here. <coughs> team Apex. No, it's not even. Him. The, the person know who they are. They know who they are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Team Apex when it, comes to, when it comes to leadership, that's something that I, I'd say, you know, not to be arrogant or anything, but I'm not too bad yeah. at that. Because oh, I've led this, I, the air show. If you see yourself, if you see yourself uh, as a leader, I'm going to treat you like that. So I expect you to do your job. And if you're not doing that, I'm going to call you off for it. So. Yeah. I will say this, from what I've seen. Looks like Urban running a tight ship with some cool oh, so people. Got so. Air shows, you got a racing team like this, man. Drift team, man. Tight ship, he out, so he he's out there. Good. Yeah, I'm sure we got a mill sim too. That's about to get launched pretty soon. This, this man is out there. That's the way it is. I consider myself a connoisseur of crews. Yeah, not really. I just made that shit up. Uh, <laughs> so we. Uh, <laughs> We got a fair few different crews. You mean to sound but arrogant, but I'm a connoisseur. No, I can do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, but Not yeah, no. I my own bubble. We, uh... Alright, all right, my fault, my fault, my fault. We're a pretty, we're a pretty close-knit group, so, you know, we like doing stuff together, and I'm the leader of the air show crew, so a lot of it just kind of gets... just ends up that I end up leading a lot of it. Um... That is awesome. I, I wouldn't say I'm a natural leader, because in real life, that's just, like, you know, out of the game. That's not really who I am. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't like I don't like telling people what to do. I don't like being told. I just don't like yeah. to be in that field of you know, like telling people what Interactions. to do. Interactions. Yeah, I don't like I don't like telling people what to do or getting told. <laughs> this it's guy just, gets it. Hey, he gets it. I don't like... <laughs> uh, quick question: How do you how do you like keep the glue together, or um, you know, kind of host events in the future? You know, stuff like that. Do you do Instagram chats or like Snapchat? Or some people do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, like, so. When it comes to the events that I've done and hosted in the past, um, I mean, literally yesterday we did a, a drift meet. That was that was pretty good. We had a full like tournament there. Uh, it was pretty fun, uh, but I, that, that didn't have much pre-planning to it. I literally just went in rec room and was like drift comp on me, and, and then people joined. I don't know, kind of worked. Um, most of the events I've been a part of hosting and stuff like that in the past have been. Uh, a lot of street racing stuff with Val and a guy called Mosey. Uh, that was like maybe a year and a half ago to two years ago. Um, we did that for quite a while. Um, but it was more the Mosey guy that was actually hosting it. I was just helping him out. Um, but the stuff that I've hosted myself has mostly been air shows. And that's a lot of like networking. Because there's loads of different air show teams in the community, but you got to like, you know, seek them out and find them uh, if you want to get them in a show with you. So it's it's a lot of using Instagram because that's where a lot of the uh, community kind of interacts. 
Um, everybody's got an Instagram account. Everybody's in the the family chat, which is what they call it um, for the flight community, where it's you know all the teams are in there. Um, it's kind of like what happened with the drift team. Uh, sorry, the drift event last night. Kind of just go in there and announce you're doing an air show, and some people are probably going to say, "Yeah, I'm down to turn up." Um, so to be honest, I think nowadays with uh, a lot of group chats being made and a lot of communities kind of finding more members and everybody getting together, I think starting and hosting events is a lot easier now. So yeah, when it comes to stuff like networking and that, it's 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 not as difficult, I would say, nowadays. Uh, it's still not easy when it comes to the Dolge community because it's a little bit it's a bit small still, uh, a little bit close knit. Uh, can I just real quick? Yeah, go for it. For further, for further, uh, further notice, or not further notice. This is just, uh, in the near future. In the future, you do not have to force yourself to talk. Like if if you see that, like if it's, the room is silent and you're the only one talking, you, you can people somebody. You guys can feel free to you know intervene, talk. It can't be only be one person talking. This is a podcast, bro. Be free. Yeah, I'm not talking right now, and it's going great. <laughs> I like what you're saying. Though. Like you, you. I feel like that you are, you know, a good leader. You don't, you know, you don't you. just overuse your power. You know, you feel like you just, if somebody could come to you with a problem, you seem like you can just help them deal with it. So, yeah, I get, I get good, I get good leader vibes from you. Like I don't really get that often. I try my best, but I've had a lot of problems in the past. Some of my teammates can agree, like, back in the air show stuff, like, maybe uh, half a year ago, I was a little bit too easy on people that were, you know, taking the piss. And uh, a lot of the times we'd be having big problems and I just wasn't, like, putting my foot down enough. That's changed a little bit now. Um, and we've been, like, adapting and changing the team to make it work better. Um, and now I've got Shadow as a co-lead. And he's been really helpful with that. He's been a lot of well deserved, by the way. Well deserved. Yeah. He, I've uh, been the he gave me the original. He's a good, good. Well deserved. Well deserved. Well deserved. Recently, my air show team has decreased in size so that we can go to more stuff. And it was his. I, it was his original idea to do that. Um, so that's like been a massive help for us recently. So uh, you know, immediate say thank you, Shadow, for that one. Uh, so you would you would, you would say now. that Shadow is like your second in command? Yeah, yeah, and a lot of stuff. He has been in a lot of different things in the past, and I've been his second in command in other stuff. Right, uh, he used to have a security team. It never really took off, but I helped him a lot with what we could do in that. Um, and back in an old milsim called AFR, like, I don't know, maybe half a year ago, a bit more longer than that, I was his second in command for the Air Force of that milsim. Um, and I think we, we've done quite a few different things in a lot of different communities and teams together, so... I guess we've ended up kind of fold, like molding our way of leadership in a similar manner. So I think we just work well as a team in that sense because we do things a similar way. All right. All right. All right. But um, let me let me go ahead and get the main yeah, go for topic. The topic. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah what do we got um, for the topic today? The the main, let me just get the main topic out the way because I've been thinking about this. I might change my mind sooner down the road, but um. Yo, Cuddy, I'm, I'm retiring, yo. What? I'm retiring. Mm-hmm. From what? Explain, from mostly just Toge, like just GTA Toge. But I'm gonna explain. Like, Wait, really? Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm, I'm gonna explain. Um, a year ago, it was like somewhere around June and August. That's when I first found Discreet, yo. Like he hosted, he was putting events in. I think it was the Paradise Club community before they took him away, and it was like a loop race. So I'm like, all right, let me go to this. And then, this is the community I've been looking for for years. Like, I started racing in 2015 when I first got a PS4, or first got this game, actually. So, this is back on PS3. And I got my skills from public lobbies, like, public lobbies, like, private events and all that. That's I've always been racing. That's why I'm in this party, because I'm just, I'm here to race. I see all his friends, but the main thing I'm here for is to race. And we are not doing that, you know, I kind of back off a little bit, because... You know, y'all be on Rec Room and all that, and I don't have a problem with that game. It's not that, but that's not what I'm here for at the end of the day. So mm. I'm not trying to discourage people from that. That's just not what I'm here for. I'm here to race. So I haven't been seeing that recently. So, and I forgot what I was going to say. Yeah, 
when I first found this crew, I was saying, like, this guy's fast. I can relate to this guy. Guy, he's my age. He hosts. But then, re you know, he's going to the Air Force and all that. So, of course, he don't have time for that. But it's like he's setting up all these events, and then he's throwing them off. Like, his team adjacent, he hasn't been on that. Team Apex, he wants to put Val in charge of that, but he got to walk Val through that. So, that, that's not happening. Mm -hmm. And I'm a very realistic person. Like, if I know something's not going to happen, I'm not going to get my hopes up. So, toge-wise, I'm cutting back. Like, y'all probably y'all haven't seen me race because y'all haven't really been around here as much, I can say. But if you mm -hmm. race me, if you race me, you're you're going to lose. And I'm not, I'm not saying that because I'm cocky or nothing. Like, there's a big difference between beating somebody and winning the race. There's, there's a big difference. And I'll explain that if you don't. But... Mm -hmm. You just discreet will tell you, Val will tell you, anybody will tell you that I can take a loss, but it's it's rare that I lose a race. And in Toge, just this is just Toge. Like I have, you can ask anybody. I I think I'm at 32 victories now by myself. And this is just Toge. Like if we if we bring in rally, street, highway racing, I'm blowing everybody out the water. But I don't I don't really like talking about my victories and all that because. People say you're making it boring. Like, no, I'm not trying to make it boring. It's just I hate when people act like stuff didn't happen. And mm. I've been seeing that a lot. And then, it's, you know, you don't like that. So, <clears> I think. Cut it, Choma. Oh, no, brother. You got a little bit of chip on your dip. Or dip no, on your I, chip. I, I, How look, you say? I'm How not trying say? to. Look, people. I'm saying, like, people. You might see me as cocky or something. I'm not trying to be that. I just. I feel like I have the skill set to choose what kind of racer I want to be. So I like being like Urban. I like being the villain, like of the of the racing scene. You ever mm. played? Yeah, I like that's that's the character that I want to bring to the party. I'm not what trying to be. No, not that. No, I'm not going to mess go? with your. I'm not going to mess with your car, man. <laughs> it's just that's the type of character that I want to bring to the party. Like I'm not. You call it toxic or none of that. I'm not. I'm not none of that. It's just. It's part of the I'm, story. Yeah, I, I like yeah oh. stories. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Z2, Z2, let me Z2, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Is, you, is this you saying you're distancing yourself from us? No, not that at all. I'm just saying, GTA Toge. I'm I'm retiring from that. Like the crew, Need for Speed, and all that. I'm still Gran Turismo. I'm still there. And street racing and rally. I'm just Toge. This Toge scene. I'm retiring because it's just it's boring to me now. I get I. Ooh, no, let me finish. I let me finish. I I'm get, let, I'm you, I get it. It's just it's it's boring to me. Like I feel like I can't learn anything else. And then, obviously, if you talk me into a race, just if you beat me, enjoy your victory. Just just know that I'm not I'm not trying to give you my best anymore. So if you beat me, enjoy your victory. But just know that I'm not giving you my best because I don't I don't care for it that much anymore. Because it, I don't feel like I can learn anything else. Like I learned all the corners. I've learned every road on this on this game. Like I've driven every road on this game at least, you know, infinite times. So I don't feel like I can learn anything else, and that it kind of irritates me because, like, I don't care how good you are, I can still I can still get with you. So it's like, you know. And then, uh, I I understand that feeling. I've had it in a few other things myself, but um, in that case, I've got a proposition for you. When you said you, uh, you know, you, you don't know what else to do, and you, you know, you can feel, you feel you can do everything, in the stuff you want to do. Is that limited just to driving? Uh, <clears throat> yes. What you mean by that? What you mean by that? Explain, explain that. Well, this is my proposition. You might think this is stupid, first, but uh. If you're the kind of driver I think you are, you're someone who wants a challenge, and that's why you're bored, because you're lacking a challenge. Yes. I got something for you. I'm just sick of racing the same people, and then everybody, this man, Val, as much as I clown him, that's my little bro. Like, yeah, I, yeah. I feel like Val is, Val is, or can be the best racer here. He just, when he loses, he rages, he gets off, like, he doesn't, Val oh, doesn't, he, do, he doesn't feel an urge to get better, like, that's why I'm trying to beat it into his head that... Well, you can be better than me. It's just you well, don't care thing. about it. I've got, you know what? Yeah, okay. I've got two propositions. You can reject the first one because I'm about to give that. If you want a new challenge and you think you've done everything you can to do with driving, 
Come fly with my me and my boys. Come on. Yeah. Learn how to fly. I challenge you to do it. Not. And I know what you're and going through. I, I went through the same thing. And the second thing, the second proposition, if you think you're lacking a challenge, I'll give you the greatest challenge of all. Teach people to be just as good as you. Ooh. Hold on, yeah. that first challenge, you mean you mean flying like planes or racing? Hold on. Yeah. <laughs> What do you mean flying cars, bro? Hold on, hold on. fast and furious shit. Hold on. <laughs> Family! I like that first <laughs> offer, but, um... No, I don't, I, 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 don't, I don't do planes, y'all. I'll watch, but I don't. I will crash. I will crash. I will fold. Exactly, black, that's why I'm people. telling you. No, that's no, what I'm saying. No, it's from the session for being too idle. All right. Let me get him back in here. Keep going. Don't, don't stop talking. Keep going. Keep uh, going. I'm, yeah, I'm, keep, well, I'm hearing him out. If you think you're just going to crash... No, I'm, I'm saying, exactly. I'm saying, I'm saying, it, I'm saying it like as a joke. Like black people don't do planes, yo. Tell me. I'm black uh, and I'm black. Yeah, I was about to say, Bali's just joined the team. He's been on my team for a while. You want to do some with cars? Let's see you drift then. Oh, I... Yeah, like what's good? With... Let me, let me give you a proposition. I'll drift oh, on any other game. I don't want to drift on GTA. Oh, I don't. Oh. It's not. It's let me not give you me. Some That's let not me. That's not me. Oh, let me enter. Let me give you a proposition. Since oh. you claim. It's not even that you, it's not even that you can't find a challenge. You just uh, stuck with the same people. Why don't you go branch out? There's That's so what I'm saying. It's, ha there. it's hard, but it, like, cause y'all don't. I'll be asking y'all to like hook me up with somebody. Y'all don't do it. And I feel like I can get that racing here. So it's like every time we try to branch out, it's always that one person that do something to ruin it. Then we just right back where we started. I, I will tell you this as my role. Like, like I'm, I'm not, saying, I don't know. Like, like Cuddy, like no, hold on, I'm gonna let you talk. But like Ch Ch Cuddy, like Char, like Char, basically. I hate racing this nigga, bro. It's not that I don't want to. That he doesn't want to. He doesn't want to get himself better. He just wants to beat me. Like, like there's a clear difference between beating somebody and winning the race. When you win the race, you learn something from it. When you beat somebody, that's, that's just that. And you remember when he said, even if he loses, he's he's gonna talk shit. Like, who does that? Like, that's whack. If you lose, shut up. If you win, then yeah, but it's like, those are the people that I feel like I'm around now. So it's like, y'all not taking it as seriously as I am. So I can't no, get that sure. same arousement. So what are you saying? All right, let me, let, me tell, let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. As my bro, I don't, now, you can say what I am. I wish the others were here so that I can get, I can get more. I see you when as I a came, midnight club driver. That's what I'm, I see you as. Like, when I came around, I love racing. But I, I came... I came for the people and not so much the scene. Racing just came along with it, which I love. But I was here for a different, like, different scenery, different type of people, different personalities. And I got exactly that. Like, I feel like I fit perfectly. And I never was able to give you a challenge in racing because I'm not a racer. Like, I'm, no, no, no. I am a racer. Let me never downplay what I can do. Because I'm not bad. I'm pretty good. But no, I know I'm what you just, can do on grid. Hey, like... I'm, yeah. I'm I'm a solid I'm a solid racer, but I feel like I play my role here. We still gotta get that athlete. lowrider race cracking. You ain't. You ain't yeah, 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 yeah. Right. I, I still play my role here better as a, not even a role man, but just a good spirit. Like I feel like, I feel like the racing character. just comes with it. Yeah, like a character. Like I feel like the racing just comes with it. I don't. Mm. I came here for. That, that's what I'm saying. Up. All I'm saying so is. Here, like, yeah, all I'm saying is. I don't care what you do as long as you're good at what you're here for. And I'm like, that's, that's what I'm here for. Like, yeah, I'm glad that I'm here to race. Like this, my secondary, I see all his friends. I, I see that. But my my primary the reasons that I'm here, I'm here to race. And I don't know. I guess I guess I don't know if y'all waiting for the update to come out. I am too. But it's like even if it, even if it does come out, what then? You've got a case of what I would call the b-boy blues. You're stuck in a bit of a gray zone. You know what you're here for, but you can't enjoy it anymore because you think, well, not that you think, you, you can't are at the top of your game and there's no one that's going to give you a challenge enough. So that's why I think you should start trying to find other stuff you can enjoy. Like trying to teach people how to drive better. I've got, I, here's an example. Me and my guys, we're kind of a bit similar to what you're talking about, I think. We're here for the story, but in the most part, we're here to fucking drive. And we might not be as good as everybody else, but maybe that's a chance for you to show someone how to be good. 
one of the greatest things a good driver, in my opinion, could ever do to find enjoyment out of is to spread the ability to drive well. The shit that I used to do way back in the beginning of PS3 when everybody was driving around in Futos because, you know, there were like barely any other good JDM cars. That was the shit I would be doing. I got to the top of my game on my course to the point where no one would beat me, so I spent time telling other people how to do it. And I would get so fucking happy when one of the guys that used to be shit beat me to the ground. That would make me happy because I knew what I'd done had an effect. You know, and it's gonna have a lasting effect. And I did the guy, I don't remember his full username, but it had. Uh, shit, it was Alfie something. He's. I'm pretty sure he's still driving around on some of the games, and I'm pretty sure he's fucking good at it. And, you know, I kind of feel like there's a small bit of my driving in that. And, and just knowing that gives me a lot of. You know, a sense of presence. And if that's what you're really looking for, a racing scene where you can drive and still feel like you have a presence and that you're not just the guy everybody thinks is toxic, then shit. Stop being a teacher. Can I say something quick? Go for it. The thing with Z-Tune is, Z-Tune is doing that, but he's doing that in his own way. It's very unorthodox and... Some might, my, some might yeah, I'm not still, do it. I'm still learning how to be a teacher. Like I just, it's, it's, I'm, I'm a little ignorant to that because I've learned everything that I can do by myself. So I feel like it feels so much better when you get it by yourself. But I'm still, I'm still learning how to just, you know, like, open up to people teacher, like as that. A te- as, a, as a teacher, as a teacher, he's some shit. But his actions and what he does might want to motivate. It's, it's two type of people. It's the type of people that will motivate you and keep doing it, or He'll talk you out of it. Like he's, he's like, you're in the space where the people around you don't want to get better. Yeah. They they all have the potential to get better. You know, except for me. Oh. So I, I can't speak for the rest, but they have the potential to get better. They just don't want it for themselves. Z two, when it comes to that situation, and and Cody kind of referring to what you were just bringing up there. You know, like you said, it's best to try and learn that shit on your own because then you can master it in your own unique way. And I, I you know, I completely agree with that. But most of these guys sat at the end of the the table with me that know how to do this this formation flying shit that you said you just crash immediately. Stuff that I'm guessing you at least have a small understanding is pretty difficult. For the most part, I had to teach them all of it. One of them, Bone, he was fucking brilliant when I found him, but Shadow didn't know how to do it. TW owned a team, he's not on my team though, he's, he's here because he has stuff to talk about as well, I'm pretty sure. Ball, he didn't know how to do it, I'm pretty sure. King didn't know how to do it. And now, put them up against the best fucking pilots in the community and they will stand proud. Because I spent like a year trying to teach them how to do it. And now they know. And if there's shit I can help you with, on helping you learn like the right ethos to train someone up and to become kind of like this is gonna sound cringe as fuck, but in the in the community sense, the sensei, if you will, then you know what I can help you with it. Wasn't that? Cringe? I can try at least. <clears throat> that was not cringy at all. At all, it wasn't, it wasn't cringe. It's, I don't it's know, real. So, a square, a square would find that cringy, but that was. I, I like how you said that. The thing is, oh yeah, I left out. I, I remember how I got to the, the community or these guys, and was seeing Ken back me up on it. I. I used to practice drifting like day and night. I used to wake up by myself in the shittiest of shittiest banshees. I just Bruh, drift. That's up, fucking up the, giving me flashbacks from up, when I was doing that. Of the hood, of the vi- the vinewood, um, <laughs> yeah, the hill, rough. up and down, up and down before I could do it with my eyes closed. I literally would figure. That's it. exactly the same as me, bro. Right. Except so I was doing that in a futon. I remember. My entry into this community, yes, you're good with the fruits. Are, I remember that. My entry yeah, with, yeah. my entry into this community was recovery, recovery 240, Instagram, drift legend. I would say not legend, but he's made his mark on the community, and mm. I he taught me through Xbox. I was on PS4. I would text him, he would give me tips, builds, and I just kept practicing. And I remember he got on PlayStation, added me to a couple of chats. And I found my way into a found my way into a drift comp. <clears throat> now Lasik, Lasik was at this drift comp. 
Now I don't know what I don't know if the sick remembers it, but I didn't do half that. I actually did pretty good. And from there, you almost beat me. That's cool. From there, yeah. From there, I found my entry. From there, I met Crown. I mm. met Crown Royale, and Crown introduced me to this party, the table. But before the table kind of deteriorated, and we we met the rec center, <clears throat> and that's how I got into it. And it was it was I got invited to the table, and one night. One night. Apparently, apparently that's a that's a big feat. I don't understand how big it was. No, nah, you but, said you played Midnight Club, so you instantly got voted in. But I'm serious, Cuddy. Not just not to make it a race thing, but being discreet was talking about bringing you in. Like you, it's not a race thing. If you're not black, don't get offended. You, Cuddy, you black. You mature to a degree. <laughs> you seventeen. Personality you, to a party, you, bro. You know what I'm saying you seventeen. You mature. You played the same game. Like we can relate to you, so of course they're gonna let you in. But it's like, say if you a Call of Duty player, and you don't do yeah. what we do, it's gonna be harder for you to get into this. If we can relate to you, you 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 in here instantly. But if you a squeaker, right. you a little kid, you like thirteen or some shit. Nah, you out here. But it's fine. Right. If we can relate to you, you in here. Yeah. And I feel like I had to, I, I did so much adapting because my priority was drifting. Like, that was what I was doing first. I, was, I had, like, hours spent to drifting. Like, I remember I had, like, finger cramps. Like, hours spent into drifting. That's what I came here for first. And then once I, like, I, I once I got into this party chat and they, they picked my brain on what I knew, I knew damn near all the stuff they were asking me. And then I just, at that point, it made sense to race. And put like and have drifting and racing like on the same. On the I'm same not. Pedestal. I'm not saying I don't like drifting because I don't want to get into it. It's just I don't get the same thrillment as y'all do. Like it's not, it's not constant overtaking. It's not scratching paint. It's not fighting for the lead. I, it's not that. That's what I'm trying. That's the. I like watching it, but you know I'll go at my own pace. I'll drift, but it's like it's not y'all tandems and drift trains and all that. Like hell, I would what? I can't do that. No, um, like there's a I'm point. open to learning, but it's like yeah, I mean, that's what I'm saying. But I don't, I don't yeah, get that same. Even if I was good at it, I don't get that same throwman as like racing. That's and that's I, my I understand thing. it. I understand that completely because people from the outside looking in on on the flight community, on the drift community, they're like, "Yo, what are they doing doing this on a game that's not tailored for that?" So it it for you to even appreciate it is enough. But what I will say is. I there was a point like I haven't even reached my full potential on in racing. And I'm not gonna lie, I haven't been able to give you a challenge on GTA. Oh, so, I know I have, I haven't reached my full potential either. It's just I can't get to that level racing the same people. That's what I'm saying. So you hit a glass ceiling. Yeah. Well, we'll get to that. You hit a glass ceiling. You can see the top, but you can't get through it. You hit a glass ceiling. We'll get to that. But there was before I, before my controller was utter shit like utter like I'm to like drifting to the left for no reason. I <laughs> literally was. Saint, what was it? It was um, uh, it was, I don't I forgot what it's called, but I was running the same toge route, morning to night, like trying to get better. Like I remember my first comp, my first comp, my first toge comp before I. You talking about found the team comp? No, nah, it wasn't the team comp. It wasn't the team comp. This was this was before you even knew me. This is me, the first time I got a piece of Grox in the this. And then crown. Yeah, that's that's took, that's my problems with the leadership here. Like I took I took third, I took third in my first toge comp. Crown took first, Grok took second, and then from there I just kept adapting, adapting. But I never, I never got to the top like I did. I, I, that's again, that's my problem with teams, though. Like, I'm at D. I'm at D, guys. And then you got the top notch and top notch racers. Like there's not one person, except for Lusik, and Lusik is still kind of driving, but he drifts. It's not one person in here who's not good at driving. Except for Brock. Brock is complete try. Right? Like that's that's why I don't like being on teams. It's like I'm getting put on teams with with Grok, just complete trash. He's not gonna take it seriously. And then I'm getting put on teams with people that have no experience in the they race, but like they don't have toge experience. You get know what I'm saying? And then mm -hmm. they lose their battles and then it just affects me. Like I still have a, I still got a little problem with that. Like it was Urban, you wasn't here, but it was like we we had a little team comp. It was like I think it was Cuddy, Val, and somebody else, and it, it was, was me. me. It was, I think we had. Y'all had Ryder. Y'all had Ryder. Ryder, Ryder, Ryder. Yeah, Ryder, Ryder. 
I, it was me, Grok, and then this dude ain't Nova. Nova's good, but he's like, that's my problem with track racing. Because if you if you got a curb boost and brake boost, you got to do all that to win. You're not good in my opinion. If you got a glitch to win, you're not you're not good mm -hmm. in my book. And then you got yeah. I'm on a team with Grok, who's just complete trash, doesn't take it seriously. And then they lose their battles. I don't I didn't get the race because Ryder lagged out. And that affected mm. me. Wait, was you the did? Like, fall? what? Yes, this this is the one you guys are watching, I believe. This is the one yeah, you guys yeah, yeah, you got tuned in to watch this. You guys, you guys like, remember my my opponent lagged out. <laughs> my two quote unquote teammates got just completely destroyed. Yeah. That affected like, me. If, if you guys that's, remember, that, that's why I don't like being on teams. He literally just it, drove the wrong yeah, way. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I slipped and he drove the wrong way after telling him where to go. And he told him where to go. Like, and, and uh, yeah, didn't yeah, practice, I mean, didn't take it seriously. I don't. That's why I don't like being on teams because that's the type of people that I've always had to deal with. So that's why I'm a little hesitant when it comes to team play because I'm a soloist. And then when I'm on teams, when I'm on teams, that's that's what I get. And then when I complain about it, when I complain about it, everybody get mad. Like, oh, you, just, I ain't gonna host no more. Like, bro. I just I need to, like, I'm going say, wait, my fault. Go ahead. Oh, and no, I don't, no, I don't, I don't want, and I don't want the best teammates on my team either. Like, I, I just, I want you to take it seriously. That's, that's like, all I'm saying. Here's, here's the thing, like, we... I haven't been, except for Zoku, but when, when my crew leader was here, because Zoku Drift Team, we were, like, we were constant, like, on all the time, practicing, practicing, and then the crew leader left, and, you know, like, and then it slowed down, we started racing, and then that kind of went left, but I, since then, I haven't been in a serious environment, like, and I have a proposition, you guys can get on it, too, I just want a team, matter of fact, we can do your guys' team versus our team. And like, cause I just want a serious environment, a serious competition. Like, I will pick Hold up on. the controller. I will, I will race again. I will idea. start racing again. I've got an idea, and this can be this can be scrapped if no one wants to do it. This can be molded to the way people do want to do it, and this can be influenced by anybody that needs to be. And you know, I think this if the, we were going to do something like this, it should not have a leadership position. I suggest we make a team solely built around getting better you know how discrete was branding adjacent as a photography team to improve mm -hmm. well let's do that shit but for racing the reason that realistically all of us are here and i say we call it something like the dojo hearkening back to that that analogy about a like sensor that. so why don't we do something like that why don't we make a course make a selection of courses ones that everybody knows, ones that can become unified across the community, courses what people will remember the name of and remember the line of. I like that, and but then, I have one problem with that. Go on. I don't, I'm a street racer. Like if you, if you play Midnight Club, Need for Speed, that's, that's my, that's my main skill. I'm a street racer. So I don't take, as much as I want to get better at it, I don't take Toge, I'm an all rounder, so I do everything. But I don't want to just focus on one thing that's not my main thing. But it, that could probably flip on me, so I'm gonna hear you up. Well, it's I don't think it would just be about Toge. Yeah. Now, if y'all want to learn how to street race, I can, <laughs> hit me up. Mm. So weaving, weaving through traffic, getting I, I can teach you that. That's yeah, I love that shit. I, I but used Toge, to go I would runner. Toge, I would see that. I would see Kanto could teach you how to master Toge, but problem with that is he only drives one car on one route, so it's like, what can I learn from you? No, I can't, Kanto know, Kanto already, Kanto already know, I, I, I'm, I ain't, no, I'm not, no, I'm not sneak dissing him, Kanto know how I feel about that, like, Kanto's good, but he's just, Kanto's good, he's just, he's just one trick, so it's like, there's so much you can learn from him, so I would say, I don't know. I would say you can learn street racing from me. You can learn drifting from probably Cuddy or or you guys or something. Like probably Sig or something. You can learn track racing from my guy. You can, you can learn track racing from Ryder, but he's on vacation. You can learn Toge probably from Val if he stopped crying. And then um, you can learn Rally from... I don't know. You can learn Rally from... Who did, oh, yo, there was a time... Why don't we... I was hold on. Dead set on Rally. Oh shit, we could do that. No, I love I, I love Rally. I actually like Rally see? more than street racing, but I don't y'all don't Did rally. You ever, 
Uh, Z Tune, did you ever play Need for Speed 2015? I played of all of them. I, play, I grew up on yeah. them. You remember how the way they had it in that one is they had like characters would be like the masters of a specific thing, like the build style and yes. dress like, and all the ones that You had like Amy, that? you had Manny, you had. What is it? Uh, was it Speed? Was yeah, man, like yeah, yeah, Manu, you had. Yeah, Spike. Yeah, Spike. Yeah, yeah, Spike. Like, same Spike, concept yeah. with Payback. Like, yeah, all three. Yeah, those Spike. two females, yeah. and then you had the, the Outlaw. I'll, I'll probably be the Outlaw, dude. Outlaw so, was Travis. No, so, how, how about we do a similar thing? But for the different kind of racing that you find in the community on GTA, Toge, Street, maybe like C1 runners, you know, like the Contra Zoku guys. Why don't you go into that? And then a rally branch or a circuit branch. Because I think that's kind of one thing that the GTA racing community has always needed. Everybody's dr divided up into this shit and they, they decide what they like and then they never talk to anybody else that doesn't do the same thing as them. Yeah. So what I think we need is something to connect everybody. Not with friends, they didn't just don't go too violent. All of them. That's a great uh, idea. And then, if you, it, then if somebody ends up being the best at all categories, you can call them the Street King or something. Oh, that would be clean. We could do <laughs> some shit like that. <laughs> you see, right, so one thing that I was going to do, and Val knows about this, uh, Z-Tune, you were there when I was talking about this, but th this was a bit of a while ago, I don't know if you remember. I was going to make a community for communities, and it was going to be called Chasing Midnight. And then we're going to be crews inside of it, different teams, oh, yeah, was, like you know, how Apex works, side attack works. So you want to be a monopoly? What? Kaizoku Alliance had us. Uh, Project Slipstream had us. No, 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 no. Asphalt Empire had us. There wouldn't be a leader. There wouldn't be a leader over this. No, no, oh, yeah, this I, don't, I, don't, I don't, I don't, I don't like chilling. leaders, yeah. I don't. We would have, like, a group of people that would work on, like, the infrastructure of it. You know, the like, how different crews call work. Call it the but, like, there would be nobody that owns it because it'd be a community how can you own a community if you're the leader of a community it's not yeah, a fucking I, I community hate, I hate when people act like they own stuff then we're gonna end up bumping heads yo. Don't oh like, don't, don't, like don't you doing. worry about that the guys on this side of the table know all about that in the flight community <clears throat> Pritch um, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> you could probably lead so, track racing out cause it's, it's boring on GTA like in real life, track drag. racing is fun, but in games, uh, when I when y'all hear track I racing, drag. I, I was about to say. no drag. Oh, drag racing, exactly. drag racing. We gotta we gotta bring Omega back. That's what I'm saying. But when I when track I hear track when I hear work, track racing, you wanna, I you gotta have a theme to it. Like yeah. I did a track tournament a while like this was fucking years ago called JTCC, based around the Japanese touring car championship from the 90s, and that was fucking lit. We were driving on scuba circuit recreation tracks. We were driving on Nico circuit recreation tracks. We were all in Japanese cars, built yeah. to look like actual Japanese touring cars, you know, like the Castrol Supra, and shit like yeah. that. And it was fucking awesome. I just but hate... if you just do regular ass track, nah, that's yeah. Boring. I, just, I just hate curb boost and all that, like, because yeah, now no, that's when nice. I hear track racing, I want to think Pro Street. That's what I want to think. Mm. So, bro, I, bro I, and, and is, yeah, we need. People want people claim to love the racing community, but why don't they ever like people need to branch out to other games? Like it's it's people in this community who are stuck to GTA. If you are such a racer, why don't you take it to grid GT Sport, a set of Corsa, the like crew. take it somewhere else. The crew take it somewhere else. I'm tired of playing GTA. Like I remember when we were playing Grid Heavy. I would wake up and do the same course. God damn it, let's see. On the same course. I literally would go up and <laughs> down. Bruh. You can ask these two. I started off so garbage, and then at one point, garbage. I was able to keep up with. I was garbage. Garbage. I, was, I beat him in one one race, but he beat me in the full like series. There was no mm. point in time where I never thought I could be able to do that. Hold on, we gotta take like, a break. Hold on, okay. I'll plug in the sponsor. Got to, uh, quick, quick, inter uh, quick intermission. Quick intermission. This podcast, the episode, this podcast episode is sponsored by Benny's Original Motor Works. I'm pretty sure everybody here has heard of it. Have y'all heard of it? No. Of course, yeah. 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 You know, Benny's looking it's to get some more. Customer, Benny's, Benny's looking to get some more stock when the update comes out. Hopefully, um, uh, you know, a wide body charger, 350Z, you know, NSX. Hopefully, <laughs> but he's got most of uh, everything he's looking Fudo for. He's custom, got, please. Yep, Fudo custom. He's got, uh, he's got everything. He's got everything you're looking for. You know, Japanese cars, low riders, choppers, vans, anything you're looking for. And if you don't know where he's located, he is. I do got a monster truck. 
He's on Alter Street just off Los Santos. So if you have a card that's on his list, you can bring it in. If you got the bread, he can hook you up. Now back to the motherfucking show. Who are we talking yes, about? It. We were to oh, I was talking about hashtag uh, sponsored uh, by the way. Nice sponsor. I was talking about um yeah, attack I started from, off attack from start, the side is the name of this podcast. Me the this, from, this episode attacked from the side. I told y'all this. I like that one. Y'all thought I was okay, wrong? but I uh, y'all called it corny at first, huh? Uh, attack from the uh, 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 we'll get back to that. Attacked Explain. from the side. Explain. Explain. I what? want the racing community, GTA, <laughs> the rally community. And in, in GTA, GTA, GTA. Bless you. Stop bless you playing GTA the board, alone. Oh, bless you. Stop playing GTA alone. Like, branch out. Yeah, I'm trying racing. to, I want to bring in the lowrider communities into the street racing scene, and then I just don't want the stance community joining because they're going to act like, oh, we've been doing this. No, if if you join it, I don't want to see no pure whites. I, I don't, I just, it's not that it's ugly. I just, I just, I, I'm tired of seeing it, bro. White wheels on these bright colors. I, I hate it, bro. I, just, I can't stand looking at it. Oh, and I, w- I would be so hurt if I, if I lose to one of those builds. I would be, I would be crushed. Damn, my guy changed my car. Fuck. I, 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 uh, do, I just don't like pure whites, yo. I want to bring the stance community in, but then they're going to start just trying. I feel like they're trying to get clout off of it. I don't even like using that word, but they just want to get their name out there. They're not yeah, the stance community. community. The like when the update come out, they're saying they bring in like they bring in club racing. I'm hoping they go mix the classes. I can use muscle cars in the sports class. I hope I hope that's what they mean. Because mm-hmm. I'm really getting out there. Now it's really becoming just... nature speed. Yeah, Same like car, different GTA's building. listening. Yeah, GTA's Night, listening. Rock Night Club. Listening. That's their game. They're not gonna make another one, so they're gonna integrate into this. They better. They better. Mm-hmm. Boy, they Sorry. better. No, but I, I get what you mean, um, Cutie, uh, Cuddy, or is it? Mm-hmm. I, forget your name. I, I get what you mean, I mean, it's the same for me, I'm more of a pilot than a street racer and everything, so I focus off of different games to improve my dogfighting skills. So that's, I that's, that's, that's a lot. Oh that's, yeah, that's Urban, tough. Urban, when you left, this man's shadow was nuking us yesterday, bro. <laughs> this man caught, this man dropped so many score streaks, yo. Oh, like, yo, if up. you want to see me and Shadow in a dogfight in a P45 in no, a we was like, we was doing like war hours. cinematics, bro. This man was dropping us off. I used the road. No, we're oh, tied. Okay, we're, sure. tied <laughs> we're, we're, we're tied 1-1. We're tied 1-1. Like, I clutched it up for my team, but then the screen back. No, this man, the screen, this man, the screen coming in lagging, games. thinking he doing something. Buddy, you was lagging, buddy. I know you're going to watch this episode. You was lagging, buddy. Come on, buddy. We gonna be in a party. Talk- we gonna be in a party. Talk about it. Discreet, you were lagging, bro. That's the only reason. No, you but killed. I almost killed Discreet, and then the clutchest thing that could have ever happened happened. Shadow flies over us and drops the best bomb ever, and it literally kills me. And then they take it. I'm Man, so thirty mad. called in a carpet bomb and score streak, and just bro, Shadow laid us out. <laughs> bro, I was doing good. like my. I was leading my team. I had the formation. I had the spirits up. <sighs> Oh, you say formation? Yeah, I know. I had, I had the single wow. left wing. I had um, C2 holding down the fort with me. I had YG on left wing, or right wing. I had Man, Justin, Justin, in the back. Justin was lost. He was lost. Justin was shooting us around. like we on your team. See, now, <laughs> Cuddy, that's where you went wrong, though. Because with the rogue, you can angle the bombs because it's so agile. So I angled it in a diamond formation, and that's where you went wrong. Are you serious? Yeah. Yeah. If you nose dive with a rogue, you can do dive bombing, like a genuine dive bombing. What's it, Joy back? <laughs> you have to get you have to get up to invite people. This game it takes a while. Will, it takes it took me a good two months to master the rogue. Say, I will say this by far, the flight community takes the most skill. I don't care what anybody says. I do drifting and I race, and I can tell you. I will never be able to do half of the stuff you guys want to play. Hey, Cody, you send you, you send my team's Instagram. You seen it? Oh, hey, bro, you got to check plug, it out, man. The plug. Hey, <laughs> shame the plug. plug. At GTA Quick underscore the nine yards regiment with underscores in between them. At slow with Dan. GTA the nine yards regiment, but it's got underscores in between them. Oh, like all the words. Okay, okay, okay. Let it's me a long around. ass name, but I, I found, I found already. I just need to see some videos. See if the guy got the heart going. Yo, if you guys ever need an editor, hit me or just hit Team Adjacent. Oh, well, 
Team adjacent up. Yeah, just a team. Actually, I'm supposed to be in team adjacent. I ain't heard shit about it. That's that's I... what I'm saying. Like I just, I wish uh... this guy would focus on something. Yeah. Asked his man when I asked his man when the rust bucket event was gonna happen. Man, blew up in my face, yo. Like, see, you remember you was there. Bro, I'm not gonna just shit, get bro. on. Don't. I'm not like I, I I wanted to put a lot of time into it, Jason, because I want to yeah. be good at photography. But I can't move unless it's on the crew leader's accord. Mm. Listen, I I know I'm gonna plug myself too. A quick plug. Cuddy under uh, Cuddy dot Z N E. Oh yeah, and I'm in a Jason. I just I'm just and I I just spit out ideas and play actor roles I just help with roles mm. I'm still working on my camera work so I'm not gonna step to the front line Urban mm -hmm. if you haven't seen my account like give, you can give, give that a look right now like, I have so stuff if you looking, like if you're looking for camera work, work. Like, if you're looking for like pictures and all that hit up Cuddy you say that again Cuddy C-U-D-I dot Z-N-E Abdul stop playing with me like, I have like I have posts like I have like some of my very, like my amateur work to what I am now this is nice. Okay. Mm. I got a question. Wait, wait, wait. What's the account? She wants just... Cuddy. Dot C N E C U D I. Now, dot C N E. Hold up. What? What is this community at? We're not worried about the Sans community. They're garbage. Yeah. Damn. I'm and not I'm, gonna call I'm, them garbage. I'm, I'm, I just don't I'm, like. I'm not, yeah, I'm not saying like they garbage. Garbage. It's like it's just pure whites everywhere. Like. Ugh. I'm gonna I'm, I'm I'm call out my it's crew, the, and they don't even know I'm carrying them. It's just the SOCs and the and the lowers, yeah. and it's love for lower because they've been turning up on their events. Me and the street carrying them in the lowrider in the racing community, they don't even know it. Like, we, we it's, it's some of the it's some of the people. Oh yeah, my my page for the people who got cut off. Cuddy dot C N E C U D I dot C N E. But like I'm saying, Cudi, stop up. Like I'm saying, there, it's the it's. It's the lowered, the lowered's and the SOCs of the community, of the stance community, and they make up a majority. Well, SOCs not a thing anymore, but lowered and a few others make make up majority of the stance community. It's the just, people who everybody's who the spam, same, who spam loud colors, pure whites, and any stance, like, any stance. Like when you like, just just so you know, if they say any stance, just bring an allergy. Like that's that's really what it means. Yeah, bro. I pulled up. I pulled up with. And in furnace, not in the furnace classic, and in furnace that was stance on on BBSs. That's so different. They just and all boring. I see, all I could see was pure whites. I brought I brought a, a Chevy C10 with a white uh, with the white bed on it on muscle rims, and it's like it was bagged. Never seen anything like it. But I turn around, yeah, I just see like pure they whites host on. any stance, and then like everybody brings allergy. Like you're not you're never gonna see that many GTRs in one city. You're just not. And, and it's not to it's not to lower it. It's to it's, it's, it's to, to every it's to every it's to hella flushes crew. It's to it's, SOC. It's, it's, it's to my crew. Like it's just be different. Host muscle car meets. Host non pure white non modern car. This host be different. And like and shout out to those people who who can make a nice car and they don't have to slam it or put pure whites on it oh, or put anything pure black on it. Host a daily meet or something like some. And like, yeah. and if you bring a if you bring a stance car to a daily meet, what are you doing with your life, yo? What are you doing? Nah, what do you mean slamming a three seventy? Uh, sorry, three fifty Z and dailying it is what every TikTok guy does. Therefore, it must be a good idea. And, and a I don't, I don't, I don't and use TikTok, so I don't know. And, and a no, BRZ or a stupid FRS. I don't. I can tell the sarcasm. Don't even worry about that. It's, yeah. I'm so tired of seeing it. Whoever just showed love, thank you, thank you. But mm -hmm. yeah, like I'm just. As a matter of fact. I want to host a meet. I want to go to a meet right now, and just I wanted to be like, are you guys good at like customizing cars? Or are you yes, guys just? Let's say I'm alright at doing the builds. Do not. Hello. No background on cars. Here's one goal: do not ask you to customize a car. I will race the fuck out of it. Trust me, they know. See, that's a red flag. That's a red flag. Huge red like, flag. And the fact that you're proud of that is a red flag. No, like, no. That... Here's the thing. No, but here's the thing. Here's the thing. I used to rice it, but then I think it was Urban. I'm pretty Shadow sure everybody was a ricer. And King, yeah, Urban PS3? Shadow and King. They was, they PS3? pretty much. 
They put yeah, rice to put... me until I changed it. I'm Everybody like, was a ricer, bro. PS3, I, put I was white putting walls on the T20. I, I was putting white walls on Centornos, yo. The dollar sign low rider. PS3, bro. Was it was on, on, it was yo, yeah, yeah, but right. the thing it was on PS3. It was clean. Oh, no, don't bring it was clean on PS3. Money red, Mr. Bro, B, bro. I, put, I, put, I put white walls. I put white walls on a, on a Osiris. Like it was, it was, it was. It was, it was clean on PS3 though. It was clean. It was the thing. It was the thing. It was tiny. Uh, white walls on a freaking shanking. I'm saying, like, but it, it was PS3. We, we, we was, we were, we were, it was PS3. We was, was younger, bro. It now was that we're now that we're older and we we've, we've grew, we've grown up for that from that Need for Speed Underground 2 phase where everyone yeah. priced that was okay. That Hot Boy phase. There's no reason as a, as a, a teenager, 2021, you were still racing your cars and you're in the car. The car oh community. no, it nah, doesn't make I, any sense. Nah, I don't. No, nah, I don't race. Nah, it's not in the car community. Race. I'm not gonna pity. I'm not gonna. There's no pity. Like I'm not gonna. What are you doing? You're not in the car community. I don't expect anything from you. But if you claim to be in the car community and you have, let's you you have the max body kit, you have max everything just because you can and you don't really appreciate the car for what it is. You just throw everything on it. That's why I have a massive dilemma right now. Cause uh, you know the situation. It's it's happening everywhere. Neons are kind of coming back, and I don't know how yeah! I feel. About it. Oh my gosh, neons are coming back, and hot boys are coming back. Oh and my man, it needs to be done right. I don't right. know how I feel it about be, it because it I made some right. neon builds recently, and they don't look too bad. But then I see other yeah. people doing it, and I'm just like, it's what the right. fuck it's, are you it's doing? It's alright if it's done right. I yeah. hate neon. I don't care if it's done right. Like it's not. It's not too fast, too furious. You're not jumping a bridge, and you're not Paul Walker. So well, that's take the, the thing. Other In Japan, right now, they're doing a lot of like West culture themed builds. They're being that's influenced it. by. Oh those yeah, Japan. Movies. Oh yeah, Japan loves the West Coast scene. They they. they yeah, here's the thing with Japan like, though. Japan is fly at everything they do. BTS don't even speak English, and they killing the scene right now. Like like Japan <laughs> can pull off. That's Korean, bro. That's but you know, but you know, what, you know what I'm saying though. Like Koreans, Asians. They can take anything and make it a good thing. They made both Goku not yeah, right. Yeah, which is why I kind of have this dilemma because, like, you can see some people build shit with neons, and you're like, holy shit, that's actually that's nice. That's nice. But then America gets a hold of it, and Americans want to be Americans, and Americans want to want to put want to put thirty inch rims. Oh, on, on a Buick, oh, no. on a Buick hey, yo, Don't skyline, don't skyline anyone. Yes. You know Americans want to act like they created everything. Bro, I seen a 30 inch oh, Nissan oh, Altima oh, oh. with red headlights. What are you what? doing with your life? What the fuck? Wait, 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 wait. You see, wait, like wait, hold on. I need you to repeat that. I need you to repeat exactly what you just said. I'm not gonna watch it. I'm not gonna watch it. I don't know if I want to repeat it anymore. But I see a Nissan <laughs> Altima on 30 inch range. I feel bad for the man that had to fucking like weld the body panels on that car. It's just like. You ain't never seen a Donk PT Cruiser. You ain't suffered enough. Let's, let's oh talk about Christ. this. Let's talk about this. Let's let's eliminate this term. Like if this when this when this podcast blows up because we're gonna be chopping and screwing it and we're gonna be taking it to TikTok so you can see the clips and stuff like that. Hopefully, yeah. I'm gonna let, let you do that. I don't I don't care. This needs to be said. For the love of God, I will not respect all this. It's not happening. You're not gonna sit here. Oh yeah, I, and I can't. I, I can't. I can't stand people who like everything. Like, no, you don't. Respect bro. all bills. You're not gonna sit here. You're not gonna put. You're not gonna put like three. And this is I'm, this is not even real life. I'm gonna talk about GTA first. You're not gonna uh, put 3D paint, stance your car, and put pure whites on it and yeah. say respect all I hate, bills. I hate people who like everything. Like, no, you don't. Like, no, you don't. I don't like. I I give if I like yesterday we did a we did the judging thing. We we did a, a build battle. Battle. Mm. Yeah. I gave every car I gave I, did, like, I gave a generous point like if, if the car was 8 and above I gave it 8 and above like, like, the man Val put 22 inch rims on an allergy what are you doing man the man got so mad I'm gonna it's be honest so go ahead, go ahead, it's right. the, the people that say respect all builds are the same people that are like afraid to misgender cartoon characters it's like what the fuck I hate like, the, I hate the is, when referring to an anime character. Like, no. Like, you don't need I to hate, speak if that's really, what you've got to say. I really say. hate what the world is today. They I'm make not... SpongeBob gay. Welcome, yeah. to tw welcome to Twitter, pretty much. Yeah. Welcome to the internet. What, what is the other topic? Prove me wrong. 
I think that was it. It's almost. I'm, I'm finna wrap it up. Like I, I've enjoyed this. Oh, well, I this this, this went fucking me? fast. You get I mean, if y'all still want to talk, I can make a part two. Yes. Yes. All right, bet. Let me uh. Yeah. Let me let me let me end this. Let me end this one right quick. All right, we're gonna we're gonna take a quick right. break. Uh, click on the next video. Appreciate the views.